Hey everyone, back with the haul video. I wanted to show you guys all this stuff before it starts selling. A lot of it's already listed. There's definitely some clothes at the end here too, so if you don't want to stick around for that, that's cool. Um, we'll try to make it quick so it's not too long of a video. Um, starting off, Jansport. This is a Big Bear 82 hiking backpack. Pretty good. It's got a couple marks on it. Some of them might come out with nylon, but there's like a stain here. You can kind of you might be able to see there um, a little bit over here. It was three bucks at a garage sale. All zippers seem to be good on this one. All the straps. These things can go for like sixty bucks maybe. On the good end it seems, but some of them are down to like forty. I'll probably be down more in the forty range, but it's super light. Probably ship at like the two pound, three pound rate. So for three bucks, always gonna pick those up. Some other hiking backpacks do even better. Um, this is a pretty cool one, so hopefully we'll get it listed and make some money. Uh, we'll. Start off with book or going to books next. I bought this CP Snow Strangers and Brothers Volumes 1 through 3 set for five bucks in my library. Someone had it listed for like 50 or 60 bucks for the whole set. I didn't really see too many that sold um, for this set, but I figured I'd grab it for five bucks. So we took a chance there. Also goes to the local library, so hopefully it helps them out. But um, hopefully we'll get like 30 plus on this set. We'll see. Another set of books, these were 75 cents a quarter for each book. It's an Anne Rice uh, Sleeping Beauty set. Originally it was like 48 bucks. These are paperbacks. Uh, I think it's probably like 15. I don't even look it up, but I'm guessing this is somewhere between 15, 20 maybe tops. Um, maybe more, but probably around those. Usually those little box sets can go for that much. So if they're cheap enough, I will pick them up. Like the Narnia box set does okay. Um... I picked up enough this Sleeping Beauty set, a different one, um, before and did okay. Um, sometimes even, like, I think Twilight box set sold before for me. So sometimes the box sets are worth looking up if you can get them for cheap. Um, all these books, uh, you guys should really look these um, up, do a little research on them. They're called Value Tales. I've sold them before. Um, Authors Johnson. They're from, like, the 70s and 80s. I paid 25 bucks or so for 26 of them. A little under a dollar a piece. Um, I should get about a hundred for this set. Um, they'll ship medium mail. They'll be a little heavy, but medium mail will still be good and efficient. Um, that should be a pretty good sale. I've sold this set a bunch of times, so value tales is what they're called. Over here, Ice Road Truckers DVDs and Deadliest Roads. I like selling DVD sets. Some of them still sell well. Ice Road Truckers does pretty well. I am missing season seven though. That's the I think the last one. Um, I saw someone get 75 shipped for season 1 through 7. I have 1 through 6. No one else really has a listing like that right now. I paid 20 bucks for all of them. I'm hoping 65 maybe for my whole set. And then I'm hoping I can still sell the Deadliest Roads season 1 and 2. Uh, maybe I can get something for those. One of them's Blu-ray as well, but maybe we can make some money on that. So hopefully we'll do okay. That was from a buyer that I bought from on Facebook quite a bit, so she let me know she had those. Um, these are uh, my first... Um, they're like reading books. They have the alphabet, A, B, C. They also have sets that have the numbers in them. These are the older ones, I think, from the 70s or 80s. These were free on Facebook. Someone put a post to pick them up for free. I asked if I could pick them up, so she said she'd hold them for me, and I picked them up um, on my way to work one day. So those were free. I'll probably get 40 or 50 bucks for those, so a pretty good set to look out for. That should do it for most of them. Oh, now here's some books over here. I got the Christie paperback lot. There's like 35 in here. I picked them up for 10 bucks. They wanted a dollar a book, so got a pretty good deal. Um, it was an estate sale run by a family. I just told them that, look, I'd buy every one at 10, otherwise I'm going to not buy any of them. Um, the lady asked the brother, I guess, who was kind of the boss, and he said, get them out of here. So sometimes it's worth making an offer, even if it seems a little low, especially on something that might not be as desirable or they have a lot of. I'm hoping I can get like 40, 45 shit for these. Going medium mail, it should be okay. So um, I've, I've done pretty well on Agatha Christie books and Louis L'Amour is another. He's a Western author that I've done pretty well on for paperback. So um, we should be okay there. So that's pretty cool. This is a Scan Snap S1500, a color image scanner. These are actually, some of these are like really expensive, the new ones. This one is a little bit older model. It is in the box. She said it was used, but it's still wrapped in all the plastic. It's missing the end of the power cord. It's got like a brick that you plug in another plug to. I'll have to get that piece. Um, these things used go for, I still think, like 120 It was 5 bucks at a garage sale, so I couldn't beat that. Uh, today I picked up a Wilson A100. 
There it is, A100 uh, baseball glove. This is the G4 edition, 11 and a half inch. It was 10 bucks. Pretty good glove. It'd be nice if I found an A2000. That one's a little bit better, but I paid 10 bucks. I honestly think this is still a 40 plus dollar glove. It's in pretty good shape. Um, there's a little fading and stuff to it, but it's got a lot of life left. And a lot of people looking for gloves, just so you know, they a lot of times they want them a little worn in. Um, if they're planning to use them for play, that means they don't have to get them worn in. Because when you first buy a glove, it's like super stiff. And I mean, whether you're playing baseball or softball or anything, it can be a little uh, bit of a pain in the beginning. You have to kind of practice with it a lot to get it loose enough to be efficient. So some people like gloves that are worn in like this because they can just put it on and it's ready to go. So 10 bucks there. Look out for gloves. A1000, that one's pretty good. Uh, these are Cube Worlds. These three I already had. Uh, these three I bought for three bucks. Um, plus tax. These are the Cube World mods. Um, I'm going to put them with these. The last set of Cube Worlds that about this size, I kind of got 40 bucks for like six or seven of them last time. I listed them pretty high and they sold. So they take little um, cell batteries. So hopefully I have some that fit it because I don't think they all work. Oh, that one works. You can kind of see what it does. These ones I think are up. Oh, that one works over there too. So I'll have to make sure I have batteries for all of them. Oh, look. Okay, so two of them are dead, so we need batteries for those. Um, look up Cube World. Some of them do really well. They even have bigger ones, or like this big, um, but they're worth selling. So this is a Cobra. I think, what is it? Uh, got the model number on it. 29LXCHRLE. Uh, this is a scanner. Pretty cool looking one. Got some wear there on the corner. It was three bucks. Guy doesn't know if it works. Um... But for three bucks, I can look up the power cord to see. I think they go for like a hundred brand new. Um, I'm not sure exactly, but for three bucks, I figured even for parts, I can make money on it. Uh, but we'll probably get a power cord and see if it works. So, also bought these Cobras, different sale. Uh, guy was so stiff on the price. He wanted forty bucks for both, which actually wasn't a bad deal. They sell for about fifty a piece. Um, I offered him thirty bucks for both. Uh, that was the price I offered. He said no way. He would only take 40 and he already came down. I said, well, I don't even know if they work. So then he plugged in a random cord and he showed they worked, which was cool. Um, in the meantime, while I was looking, he was trying to get those to work, I found these um, noise chopper, noise suppressors for CBs. Uh, I looked these up real quick while he was looking for a cord and these sell for like 20 bucks. So then I asked, well, would you do everything for 30 including these? And he said, no way, I want five a piece on these. I said, well, he goes 35 for everything. I'm like, well, that's not really even going down. And then I grabbed this, and he goes, fine, I'll throw that in and do 35 bucks. This little, I don't even know if this is worth anything. So I said, sure. So I paid 35 These go for 50 They both work. So that's cool. These go for 20 a piece. I don't even know if the talk back was worth anything, but... It's good to bundle, sometimes you can make some money. He was pretty stiff on his price, but he was a nice guy and it still was a good deal. So we paid 35 I still think we're looking at 140 in sales, so pretty good. My friend sold me this Nikon Cool Picks. It does work. I paid 10 bucks. not really a good deal. It only probably go for 20 bucks, maybe 25 so we won't even really make any money. I bought it with the Jansport bag and some other stuff. He usually, um, I have to buy a few things from him because... We kind of he gives me really good prices, so I don't want to hurt his feelings. I don't want to like turn down too many things, and then he will stop saving stuff for me. So sometimes I'll bite the bullet and buy a deal that's not amazing, um, and this is one of those ten into twenty or twenty five. I won't lose, but hopefully it keeps that um, avenue open for future buys. So I uh, wanted to show you guys what I've been doing. I bought a bunch of Legos for twenty bucks. Um, I've been pulling out minifigures. I still have a couple boxes to go through. I'll sell all the Legos by a pound, but then I'm just lotting together minifigs. If I know any of them are unique, I'll look them up and see if we can make money. But a lot of these ones are Lego Movie and Star Wars. Um, so if you do buy Legos and you're not really familiar what to do, sometimes it's best just to pull out these little figures and then lot them all together. And you can sometimes get like a buck a figure in a set, which isn't too bad. So just a little tip there. Um, this is a two-way remote starter um, for your car. It was ten bucks. Um, some of the other models do pretty well. This one's a little bit older, but I paid ten. I saw some sell for like seventy, eighty. I'm hoping we can be somewhere in the forty-five plus range. Everything's there. Still is new. Um, all the pieces I checked with the um, with the directions to make sure they're all there and they work. So for ten bucks, I think we're okay there. Um, oh, I forgot these books. Uh, Bibles. 
three Bibles here. I think three bucks, three bucks, and two dollars. I think the St. Joseph will go for like 20, maybe 25, and that one maybe 15. So, I'm um, sorry about the noise. Those little guys are still going. Uh, Bibles do pretty well. Look out for them. Some of them do better than others. Um, it's got to kind of find out what works. Here's some um, Made in Switzerland, Rachley, I think is the brand, boots. I paid up for these. I paid 20 bucks. I think 22 bucks or something like that at savers the comps were all over the place somewhere in the 200s but somewhere in the 50s um i think i'll probably get more like 65 is what i'm guessing they are pretty got somewhere on the side but the bottoms are in pretty good shape and uh, they're a size nine and a half um i don't think mine are the super valuable ones but Again, if I can get 65 or 70, learn a little bit about the brand, they do sell. Um, Savers prices are just crazy sometimes. So, Over here, some Pillsbury um, pens. This is a 2007. Um, I think it's over here. Pillsbury Doughboy pen collection comes with some recipes from 2007. Lady is missing a pen here, and I go, I think you're missing some up here. And the guy tried to tell me he wasn't. He goes, no, those are for, for down here. I'm like, well, why would there be holes here? He goes, oh... I'm not sure, but I know there weren't any other pins, and I'm like, pretty sure there were supposed to be pins, and yeah, I looked it up, and there are supposed to be more pins. Um, someone has a set, and they have a bunch of other pins in there, so that's okay, though. Um, I paid 12 bucks for this. Uh, I already had an offer of 60 bucks right off the gate. I didn't take it. She really wants the cards in the box. She already has a bunch of the pins. Um, I told her if it doesn't sell, I'll probably take 70 for it. It's still a pretty good deal, but I think I could get 70 or 75 from somebody else. So well, a complete set of this, the reason why I wanted to show it, someone had all the pins. They got 200 bucks shipped. So it's probably a good thing to look out for, Pillsbury, Pillsbury Doughboy pin collection. So pretty cool. Uh, some cats. I sold one in my sales update video, but actually the person canceled. It was the Rosenthal. So it's not here. It's already boxed up, but we had to cancel it. This is a Goldshire Everlast. Goldshire is a pretty good brand, but when it's Everlast Corp, I don't think it's as good. This cat was a buck. I picked it up, though. Um, I think we'll be able to get something on it. And here's another one. She insisted this was a Rosenthal cat. I'm not sure, though. So it doesn't. There's like a marking there, but it's kind of faded. I can't really read it. So it might be a Rosenthal. I'll have to do some research. kind of looks like the same style. Um, that one was um, a dollar. Or that this one was five dollars. This one was a dollar. So they came with the the pins um three dewalt chargers 9116 i think or two of them and one's a 9116 and one's a 9118 uh, these things usually go for like 20 to 25 bucks for me i paid 10 for all three most likely they work all i have a battery still that i'll plug into these as long as it fits and see if it lights up the battery itself won't hold the charge but it should still show that it's charging so if they all light up we're good to go even with some scuffs and stuff, they still sell. People always need these to charge their extra battery. So, paid ten. Hopefully, we'll get sixty on all those. Some books here. They were fifty or twenty-five cents. This is a commentary on the Bible. Look out for Bible commentary. Some of them do really well. For a quarter, this one will go for like twelve. Not a whole bunch, but can't beat the price. Bought this for a quarter mainly to show you guys the uh, Betty Lucans through the Bible and felt. Look out for Bible sets that are in felt. It has like felt versions of different stories from the bible and animals and different prophets and you know people from the bible as well as anything that goes with that story the whole set can go for a couple hundred bucks depending on which ones you have but look out for bible and felt i bought the manual for a quarter we'll list it maybe for 20 and we'll see if someone ever needs it but thought it'd be still cool to show you guys that there's other brands too it's not always betty lucans but um if you do find other ones look them up they can do pretty well this is the library. It's a Shilton um, Taurus for Taurus manual. Paid a buck fifty. This one goes for like fifteen though. It's a little better one. So for a buck fifty, can't go wrong. Ship it medium out. And now we're moving to the clothes. Uh, Woolrich size extra large men's. It's got like the quilted interior there. Kind of an ugly color in my opinion. Um, paid ten bucks though. Ladies really thought it would be good for me. I don't know, maybe, I don't know if I really like the color. But um, for 10 bucks, it's really warm, uh, super nice condition considering. Um, I think we'll do okay for 10 bucks. Over here, this is Antonio Gates Pro Bowl jersey. I bought three jerseys for 25 from my friend again. This is the best one, it's the Pro Bowl one. The Pro Bowl jerseys sometimes do really well. 
um, especially if you get a pretty cool player. Um, this one, I honestly think I'll get 25 to 40 on, and it's in Chargers, Antonio Gates. Super cool. I'm really happy with that. Love finding the Pro Bowl ones. Uh, Dennis Rodman, Pinstripe. This one was there as well as five bucks. Nike. I think the problem is someone might have washed this. You gotta be careful when you're washing jerseys, and it really messes up the patches. Um, but it's okay, it's five bucks. Can't go wrong there. Size is what was it? Extra large, so a pretty good size too. So five bucks on the Rodman. These are the other ones, a part of that $25 deal. They were also Gates. There's another one. I don't recommend buying a bunch of Antonio Gates Charger jerseys anymore. Um, he's not really the most hot-selling player, but I picked them all up because I wanted that Pro Bowl one. So there's one there. Here's another one of his in the powder blue. So uh, Jacksonville Jaguars. This is a hoodie, size 4XL. Brand new with tag Nike. Brought this from my jersey guy. For I sell five bucks for this, and it is the cancer, um, like breast cancer awareness type one. Um, so for five bucks, we can't go wrong. Football season's coming. It's a huge hoodie. I mean, this is huge. I'm a big guy, and it's still huge. Also, Cardinals, St. Louis, um, MLB Cardinals um, by Majestic, size medium hoodie. This was also five bucks. This one's not brand new, but it sure as heck looks like it. Um, I think honestly, twenty five to. 35 on this maybe Broncos brand new with tag this is a woman's shirt it was five bucks from the jersey guy it's got a little dust here but I think I'll be able to get that out uh, this one's brand new size large was 25 we'll probably ask 20 or best offer let it go for like 16 or so Sean Alexander youth size large this is a Super Bowl he was a beast of a player for a while but then he just disappeared things like a barber now or something Little fact there. Uh, Detroit 2006 Super Bowl. They lost to the Steelers, actually. It's kind of a bummer. Um, but yeah, it's got the price tag of 55. I don't know if that's. I consider that still new, though. Uh, that's a youth one. I paid five. Here's a Kaepernick youth. Five. Very controversial athlete, but he still sells. Um, Kobe Bryant, five. Always sells, even though he's not playing. Still probably the hottest youth basketball jersey. It's probably him, and Curry still sells pretty well. Uh, but five bucks for him. We'll probably get twenty bucks on that. Kobe Bryant. Here's a Ravens Rolando McLean um, jersey. Five bucks. We'll probably get twenty or twenty-five. This is a majestic Giants mesh. Team MLB size large. Five bucks. Um, not the greatest jersey. Not a player or anything. It's kind of one of those cheaper ones. But for five bucks, we'll be okay there. Uh, what is this? Gary Payton. Gary Payton Lakers number twenty. 2XL is the reason I got it for 5 bucks. It's a 2X. Um, Lakers will be pretty popular this year because LeBron's there, so I figured I'd get some more Lakers stuff. So for 5, this is like one we're hoping for 20 on. This is like a Major League, or Major League, an NBA exclusively Lakers one. This is like one they'd give out maybe at their games. It's an Elgin Baylor. Um, 5 bucks for this too. So hopefully we'll get 20 or so. You don't usually see his type of jerseys. Uh, Harley Davidson 2XL, really cool pattern with the Harley um, written vertically. Well, I guess it's written right, but turned. Um, and it's a size 2XL. I had to pay like 10 bucks for this after my discount. Uh, I just really like Harley stuff, even if I'm only going to get 30 bucks for it. If I pay 10, I'm okay, because Harley stuff just always sells. Um, I know that some of you may watch him, Parrot Picker, he's like... The Harley man, he gets the best money for his Harley stuff. Um, kind of envious him a little bit, but he's the reason why I kind of pick it up too, because he always seems to do pretty well, and I've kind of learned that it just always seems to sell. You know, you may have to wait a little bit, but you always find a buyer and can usually get a pretty good price, especially in a size 2X. So that one was cool. Here's a Wrangler National Finals Rodeo um, shirt. This was like this was 6.49 plus 30% off. I just got it because it's kind of unique. I really like the. Style of the shirt. It's got the big logo on the back from 2002. Honestly, you got to find the right person who would want this. Maybe someone who went there or someone's dad was there or something. Um, but if so, we can probably get 20 25 on that. Here's a Harley, another one. Same thing. Price, 2XL. This one's got the shield there on the pocket. And it's got Harley written on the back. Really good looking shirt, honestly. I'd wear this one. Um, so hopefully, again, we're a 30 plus on that. Here's some Mac DNM. Um, I still do well on this brand in men's only, really. These were 
six bucks plus tax. Um, a little fraying on the bottom there, but honestly, I still think this is a $25 pair of jeans. Um, but the better ones are these BKE, six bucks plus tax. Look out for BKE Men's Tyler. Other ones do well, but Buckle Brand or BKE Denim um, Men's do really well. Not the women's like Stella and the women's ones don't do okay, but the men's ones. I think some of the comps in these were 40 plus. Um, so we'll hope to get at least 35 for them. So there was a little on the front was a little stain. I was like, oh, I can get that out in the wash. And then I went, and it wasn't even really a stain. It was, like, caked on food or something. But it wasn't staining. I just kind of scratched it off, and it was gone. So these are ready to go. So that was an awesome deal there for 6 bucks. Uh, 2 bucks Taz, um, 1985, Warner Brothers. Everyone loves Taz. Um, couldn't pass this shirt up. Love the big graphic on the front, plus being a, was it a 2X? Oh, no, it's a size large. Uh, just runs, seems like it's running a little big, but... I think we'll be okay there. Um, Tab done well on Taz stuff. Usually 15 to 20 bucks for a Taz shirt. Maybe a little more if it's something really unique. Another Harley. This was six, eight bucks plus tax. This is a 2XL as well. Different place, but this is a cool Harley Hawaiian shirt. Um, I don't know what the comps are, but eight bucks, I was cool with that. Another Harley Thermal. I just like that it was off color. It's a 2X. Um, wasn't black. You know, it's just kind of a different color, so I figured I'd pick it up. That one was 6 bucks plus tax, and it's got the Temecula Harley logo on the back. And my favorite one, 8 bucks plus tax for this Harley. It's got cool buttons there, cool logo on the front. It's a 2X, and it's got the Harley written on the back, plus kind of that, like, downward black flame. So that was cool there, and that's pretty much it. This is all old stuff, so... Hopefully you guys enjoy the video, um, kind of a good mix of stuff, they're a little bit longer than I wanted to, but I wanted to show you guys everything. Let me know if you have any questions, and I hope you're enjoying the new format for the sales updates. Take care guys.